Today is not the day I die. Mm. Get like this, I'm right <laughs> So many fans started this year with TV shows getting cancelled everywhere. It's like Oprah giving away free stuff. You get cancelled, you get cancelled, you get cancelled, everyone gets cancelled. But I'm not gonna talk about like general cancellations. I wanna talk specifically about Netflix going wild. Damn you Netflix. Damn you. Netflix, you're taking our happiness away. Your shows are good. So just appreciate what you have. Defend it, protect it, like if the freaking company depending on it. Because guess what? It does. Netflix just keeps trying to make cheaper version of other movies. They are adding fresh material regardless of how good or not it is because your goal netflix is just to keep luring people and then canceling the show by replacing it with something worse hoping that they just start watching the new one i am done with that why um because i don't trust netflix you sit on a throne of lies I'm honestly tired of investing my life, my time, on TV shows that are just gonna vanish from my life. I ain't even gonna have a chance to say goodbye, and they're not gonna have a proper ending either. Ain't nobody got time for that! I'm pretty sure the only reason I still have Netflix is because I'm waiting for the new seasons of the CW shows to come up, watch them, and then I'm out. And FYI, the CW is also canceling those TV shows. What the fuck? But don't get me started on that, because this is a Netflix rant, nothing else. The most laughable things is the excuses they come up with. It's worse than a little kid lying. Let's start with the whole Marvel collection. Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, The Defenders, The Punisher. I am dead inside. All of them. Gone. I mean, you broke my heart with this ones. But as a masochistic person, I just stood there, waiting for a miracle to happen, for them to come back. But that's not gonna happen, is it? Why the hell do you get rid of the Punisher? Of their devil? We all know it's because Disney took it away from you. You have no idea how much you have lost there. Or maybe you do, don't you? That's, that's why you gave the stupidest reason ever. This was Netflix's excuse on why Daredevil was canceled. Marvel's Daredevil will not return for a fourth season on Netflix. We are tremendously proud of the show's last and final season, and although it's painful for the fans, it is. We feel it best to close this chapter on a high note. Now hold on a minute. Netflix is telling me that they cancel a show because it was too good. I'm telling you now, no one ever, ever, ever in the world will find someone better to play Daredevil than Charlie Cox, the Punisher than John Bernthal and to play Wilson Fisk as Vincent D'Onofrio. Like no one, ever. These shows were so intense. They were full of endless action. <laughs> While the series on Netflix has ended, the three existing seasons will remain on the service for years to come while the Daredevil character will live on in future projects for Marvel. So, Marvel, if you want to do things right, you better stick with these actors. <sighs> the dream. The dream is dead! But okay, okay, for the sake of this video, let's, let's roll with it. Let's say this is 
a reasonable excuse. It is not. So let's go back to March 10th then. We have made the very difficult decision not to renew one day at a time for a fourth season. The choice did not come easily. We spent several weeks trying to find a way to make another season work, but in the end, simply not enough people watched to justify another season. Let me just stop you right there, okay? First, you lied. Right? Then you lied about lying. Okay? Then you lied about lying about lying. Stop lying! <laughs> now you're canceling a show because not enough people is watching. Joder, que te peina o te hace rolo ahora. Like, one way or the other. I can understand the CW cancellations on Arrow and Supernatural, and maybe, just maybe, I'm still suffering for that one. Jane the Virgin. Although it hurts deeply, there comes a time in a show where it's time to say goodbye and to acknowledge that the story needs to come to an end in order to not make it repetitive. It's a decision that AMC should be doing with The Walking Dead. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And The Walking Dead is way its past due date. But Daredevil, The Punisher, one day at a time, they had so much to give us. One day at a time was barely scratching the surface of cultural problems. And it had the potential to do so much more, to be so much more. It was so warm and welcoming, but it doesn't stop there, does it? The unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Orange is the New Black, Girl Boss, American Vandal, so many others. I'm just naming the ones I watch, but you know you got shows canceled too, don't you? Netflix is like George Martin, just killing off my favorite characters. <laughs> but you know who's gonna kill you, Netflix? Disney Plus. Who saw that coming? Well, everyone did. Basically, Disney Plus is just taking absolutely everything from Netflix and it's creating its own streaming platform for a cheaper price. It has new content and all the Disney movies you could imagine. That is brand new information! <laughs> Disney said thank you for your service, it was good while it lasted, see you never. Netflix, if you don't listen to your followers, you're gonna get killed. But let's be honest, I think you know that already. That's why you are increasing your prices again, right? But that's what you want, you just want to take away people's money before November comes and Disney gets all your subscribers. How many more cancellations are required for you to realize that you fucked it up. If you make it all the way to my rant video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below which of your TV shows got canceled. Please, let's take a moment of silence to say goodbye to other TV shows that left a hole in our hearts and in our lives. I can't believe I came out of my room for this. I wasn't ready. Tough shit. It's time. I'm the only one who matches you. But we're inevitable. You're different. It's just one piece of the puzzle. Before I destroy the world, let me just grab a bag of curly fries. You're pregnant. Sex!